Now, um, one of the, the main features of Windows 8 is obviously this, this start screen, um, but it does also integrate um, in with standard desktop apps. So if we go to the desktop, you can see you can actually drag in and snap the existing, um, well, new Windows 8 applications to the side there. You can control how far across they snap, and you still get your Windows desktop on the left there, and you can also just pop in the new metro applications and you can pull that back a bit and you can snap new ones onto the right there as well and keep going through Microsoft's uh, ribbon based UI is also present in the developer preview so if we zoom in a little bit probably get a better view of that so you can see if we go into the desktop into a test folder you get the new folder option at the top that surfaces and if you highlight over there you get various other options that will, that will surface due to that so we can delete and they're very they're very um, finger friendly so it brings a bit better aspect to the current explorer now all the functions of windows 7 like snapping to the side are still present so it's very much the the, the classic desktop experience there One thing you'll definitely notice about Windows 8 when you first use it is literally the start menu has, has disappeared. Um, so the default experience is the start button will launch the start screen. Um, to get a sort of start, similar sort of start menu, you go to the right. So that has definitely been removed. Now, um, one of the interesting aspects of Windows 8 is this slightly improved uh, task manager. So by default you get a smaller view like that. You can simply end tasks in there. And this will end tasks if they're desktop apps or if they're built on the new Metro framework. Uh, so let's go into more details. And what you'll see is a little bit more detail in the task manager now. So it's um, colour coded so you can see what's taking up particular CPU or memory. Um, you've also got a performance tab which will show you the actual performance of the, of the hardware components like the CPU and the memory. And you've got app history um, which will show sort of how an application has been using your resources on your machine. And quick, quick access to what's starting up users uh, details of the actual applications and obviously services at the end there. Uh, 